welcome back to Diving Into Watches, and today we are going to be going over the build we just created. Building this beautiful creation based on a 62 Moz case with steel insert and all Seiko NH35 movement. Ooh, this camera screen, a little gold holder in the back. Uh, we'll, go over the, we'll go over the dimensions and everything and give you my reviews and say what we think. I built this uh, also based on gunmetal uh, coloring on it and oyster bracelet based on my EDC everyday carry back here. So it matches my everyday carry. <clears throat> Very happy with it. Everything was from Toke Labs. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Let's go over the review.
Okay guys, so here we are. This is the uh, watch I built. All the parts are provided by Toke Lab. Uh, they were not a sponsor. They did not provide them free. I did have to buy them, but we'll go over the uh, dimensions and everything on this and my overall impressions with everything. <clears throat> the case is built on a 62 Moz case, uh, which is the case that came after the very first skin diver that Seiko built. Uh, I do like this case. It is 42 mil uh, i'm sorry it's 40 mil uh, cross it is height uh, this uh, the depth the uh, case size is 15 mil the lug to lug is 47 and the lug width is 20 millimeters so it's you know definitely can swap out uh, with um, any kind of strap you want it's definitely a strap monster it is on a Oyster bracelet that is also provided uh, by Tokyo Labs. Um, it's all in gun metal, which I really like, so that uh, it matches my everyday carry gun. Uh, I, I'll do some, uh, put up some screw, uh, shots uh, later in the video to show you what it looks like with the gun. So it's really cool that it matches. Very happy with the bracelet. Um, works, integrates very, very well. The bezel is a um, steel bezel insert, double dome sapphire. You can see how nice that looks. Uh, the green dial is really, looks very, very good. I'm very, very happy with that. 200 meter water resistance. Uh, I did do a different um, seconds hand. Uh, I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. I went with the gold hands. I did have originally have black uh, hands on here, uh, but I went with the gold ones. I wanted just a little bit more uh, standout, but I did like this uh, insert. I looked at the ceramic insert, but I went with this one instead. I was very happy with it with the red triangle at the top and the pip. I'll, I'll put some loom shots up and later the loom is very, very good. Uh, it sits very, very well. I'll do some wrist shots here in a second. It tapers down as like a typical oyster bracelet does. It is uh, normal clasp and the double release. It is milled, which is very nice. I'm very happy with it. The weight, I'll get you those in a little bit, is very, it is very light. It is not a titanium case, it is, but it is very light and wearable on the wrist. You can see on the back, is an NH35 movement, Seiko movement, 23 jewel. I love the gold rotor. Uh, just adds that little bit, a uh, little bit of extra on it. It is an exhibition show, uh, exhibition case or display case, however you want to call it in the bag. <laughs> so it makes it just a little more blingy in the back, which is nice. I like kind of like my stuff kind of blingy. <clears throat> um, this uh, this rotor came already on it from Tokay Labs. So you can get just a standard one if you're just going to do a, you know, no case, uh, display case. But I really liked how that gold um, skeletonized roller looks in the back. It looks really, really good. I was very, very happy with that. It's very firm, clasps in. 120 click turn. You can listen. I don't know if you can pick that up. Very solid, very, very firm nice and easy very good clicks very happy with it alignment is dead on uh, very happy with that overall i'm very extremely happy with it let me get it on the wrist so you can take a look at it on my six and a quarter inch wrist i have a very small wrist but you can see it sits very nicely on the wrist it was very easy to adjust it does have the micro adjustments it has three on the one side and two on the other so it does have uh, some little fine adjustments. Does not have a diver clasp on it, but you can see. Let me back out a little bit here. You can see it adjusts very nicely. Sits very nicely on the wrist, uh, even on my very small wrist. The the lug to lug is still very good. Uh, so if you have a uh, small wrist, you can definitely pull these off. If you have a larger wrist, no problem. It is very, very comfortable to wear. You get a lot of compliments on it. Uh, a lot of people ask where I got it, told them I built it. So I had some people asking me about building them watches, which I'll be happy to do. Uh, Toge has a lot of great dial options. Um, I do have a green one, a Seiko factory green one. I might throw on there to see how it looks. 
but I think having the, uh, let me zoom in here. I think having the, uh, I do think having that Japanese writing on there is really cool. <laughs> I don't know what it says other than the 200 meters. Um, so if you do know, put it down in the comments. So I got a little bit of smudges on there. Let me get those smudges off the fingerprints there. But I am extremely happy with it. When the loom is on, you can kind of see with the double dome sapphire along the edges here. It kind of gives you another little bit of the indis, uh, markers, indices on there. Um, I'm sure the Japanese writing probably just says, you know, water resistant 200 meters or something like that. But overall, I'm extremely, extremely happy with the build. It is drilled in links, which is nice. I do like the gunmetal, as I said earlier. So put down in the comments, tell me what you think. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in having me, have me uh, build you one, hit me up with a DM. I'd be glad to discuss building you, uh, building you a custom watch, anything you'd like. Uh, but uh, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. As you saw earlier, we went over the review of the watch we just built. You got the dimensions, you got my overall thoughts, you've seen the uh, <clears throat> first shots, the outside shots, and then the uh, overall uh, pictures with the, my everyday carry gun, uh, kind of why I built it. That's why I'm calling it my EDC watch. Uh, I've been wearing this a lot. As I stated, I'll probably, I might change out the dial, I'm not sure. I just kind of like having the Seiko dials on there. Hit that subscribe button, give me that thumbs up, build those algorithms. We want to keep putting out great content for you. If there's anything else you'd like me to see and review, um, please let me know in the comments. Stay tuned. We did get the dial in for the steel dive conversion to the Seiko dial. I'm just waiting for uh, some hands to come in because the, the seconds hand broke. And so everything's completed on it. I just need to get the Seiko hands, uh, no, I'm sorry, the, the second hand so I can put it on so I can upload that video. Thank you for watching Diving Into Watches and we'll be back again real soon.